One thing with the Spirit of God is moving even when you don't feel Him. Even when you are not seeing Him, He is moving. So don't allow yourself to go into another day with the same devils and the same problems. So Leviticus chapter number 19. Give no regard to medians and familiar spirits. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. And when they say to you, seek those who are medians. I say today I'm here for war. I said, Satan does not understand your niceness. He doesn't understand your diplomacy. He doesn't understand your gentleness. It's with the point of revelation and the scripture point, point of view. Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffered violence, and the violence shall take it by force. There are things in the year 2024 you got to have them by force. In the name of Jesus, don't allow the demons from your grandmama's house to keep on distracting you. So it is written, and when they say to you, seek those who are medians and wizards, this conversation is for your future, is for your generation, is for your family, is for your children. I want you to underline the word medians and wizards. And when they say to you, seek those who are medians and wizards, who whisper and mutter, should not people seek their God? Should they seek the dead on behalf of the living? My goodness. Should they seek the dead on behalf of the living? So, listen to me. Leviticus comes immediately after they had come out. It is so prophetic and so profound. I'm about to say something you have never heard. The book of Leviticus now, it comes immediately after the Exodus immediately after they came out why because after coming out there are certain things i want you to hear me and hear me good after you have come out of something there are certain things you need so that you know how to stay out my goodness there are people can come out and they don't know how to stay out preach now shadrach in order for you to stay out there are some important things that you should know and that's why we have leviticus immediately after the exodus because god knew they cannot stay out if they will not have the wisdom and understanding because knowledge is life lack of knowledge is death my people perish for lack of knowledge and understanding so god wants to insert knowledge in them wants to insert the microchip of knowledge in them so that they may know how to stay out they had come out so how am i going to stay out my god my goodness so i have seen people moving to this point of life but while they are there they take 50 steps backwards it is easy to come out, but it is difficult to stay out. Today they are born again. Tomorrow they are not born again. Today it's hallelujah, hallelujah. Tomorrow is another thing. Today is Hosanna, Hosanna. Tomorrow is crucify him, crucify him. Deliverance is not deliverance until you learn how to stay out of that which used to control you. Because what is deliverance? Deliverance is when you are disconnected, when you are detached from that which used to control you, to afflict you, to torment you, to trouble you. So now you are out. That's why we have the Leviticus. Leviticus is going to help them on how to stay out. They have come out and how are they going to stay out now listen it's another thing for you to become a millionaire and it's another thing for you to stay a millionaire i hope someone will understand this right now is another thing for you to get married in it's another thing for you to stay married how many friends of you as you have met them they became married but they didn't know how to stay in marriage is another thing for you to to come in relationship and to stay in the relationship. Am I helping someone? Is another thing for you to start a business and to stay in the business. 
I hope I'm helping someone right now. So coming out alone is not enough. After you have come out, you need the wisdom, the knowledge. You need the spirit of God to help you on how to stay out. And how do you get the spirit of God? Through the logos. What are the logos? The words of the word of God, the thoughts of God, 